Now, tonight on the show, the first show of 2017, Bat Peters, we talk about housing. Can you buy a house on a minimum wage? We'll also be talking water quality. It's such a big issue this year. And what the hell is the fascination with Donald Trump? We talk about I'll tell that. You what, I'm a very attractive man. That's the fascination. Speaking of attractive, yep. you've done very well for yourself, buddy. Yep. It's got to be at least a nine, possibly a ten. All right. You'd be lucky to be pushing a six. Got a try, mate. Uh, look, uh, this is ba <laughs> this is backbenchers. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> We are back, election year 2017, and look, a big round of applause for yourselves. What a crowd tonight. You guys rule. You guys rule. Even, even the marijuana people are back. My God, they're back, aren't they? Gosh. Uh, now, if you want to be part of the show, come on down. We film 6 o'clock uh, every night here at the iconic uh, Backbender Tavern. Great to have you part of the show. Um, can I also just welcome, actually, no, I'll do that a little bit later on. I'm going to introduce the all-star panel tonight. A big Round of applause for National MP, fresh from court, Chester Burrows. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good, good, to, show. good to be free. How, how did it feel, you know, the former minister of the court sitting there cross-armed on the other side? I thought it was um, quite sort of ironic, you may well think, and, and it was good when it was all over. But, um, Is it scary? It was a load of shit. Actually, I wish I was standing what? again. <laughs> if I was standing again, I think my majority would treble. All right, here we go. Here we go. Your, your quick five questions. Chester Burrows. Who is your favourite rapper? Wouldn't Eminem or Jay-Z? <laughs> Jay-Z. Oh, God, forget about it. Forget about it. All right. Question two. If a dildo gets thrown at one's car, how must one protect oneself? Just drive on through, man. <laughs> What if there's a hypothetical TPP post? No, forget about it. All right, OK. They don't exist. No, they do exist, Jester. Uh, number three. Who is the greatest living prime minister? Hmm. It's a bit too long. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit too long, Jester. Yeah, that's a hard one. Come on. I'll say JC, JK. All right. OK. And finally, it is election year. Chester Burrows, why should people vote national? Because uh, the recipe that's working and no one's ever won from where the re these other guys are. So if you want to back a winner, you better be back in national. All right, OK, thanks for the, being on the show. All right, and, like, big round of applause for Labour MP Damien O'Connor. <laughs> Good to have you on, Damien. Flew from Invercargill all the way to be part of this Recess Week show. It's, it's an honour to have you here, Damien. Question number one. If Labour was in power, would the Pike River families be able to retrieve the bodies from the mine? They'd be able to recover the drift. That's all that we, uh, the, my, the families are asking for. We don't think we can get into the mine, and we don't know where the bodies are, but they should be able to recover the drift. All right, number two. Are you happy that you're ahead of Willie Jackson in the list placing? Oh. Always be honest. Ha always happy to be ahead of anything. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Election year, Damien. All right. Um, who is the greatest living Prime Minister? Oh, I've got to say Helen. I mean, she's still around. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> See, wasn't that hard? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> and Election year, why should people vote Labour? Well, because we care about people. And because we're going to put people first. And while there are people who are, don't have a house and they don't have a decent income, we've got to work for them. All right. And make New Zealand great again. Good to have you on the show. <laughs> Give it up for New Zealand First MP, Tracy Martin. <laughs> Good to have you on the show, Tracy. Yeah. All right, quick fire questions. Tracy Martin, here we go. Should Family First lose its charity status? Oh, that's a really interesting one. All right, next question. Yeah. <laughs> if immigration um, stopped suddenly tomorrow, would you party like it's 1999? <laughs> No. Oh. Have you told Winston that? Anyway, um, who's, who's the greatest living Prime Minister? I think it would have to be Helen Clark. All right. Finally, 
finally, election year, why should people vote New Zealand first? Because um, if you want something that's not the same as you've had in the past and the people who are going to pick who's going to be in the next government, you should vote for New Zealand first. All right, good to have you on, uh, Tracy. And look, a big round of applause for the uh, uh, co-leader of the Green Party, Mr James Shaw. He's in the, in the corner here. Good to have you on, James. Cheers, mate. All right. Question number one. Now that you say you can't buy a house on your salary, have you booked into budget advice? <laughs> No, look, no. I, I, I'm hearing the world's smallest violin playing just for me. All right, number two. Yeah. Number two. Would you consider flatting with David Seymour? <laughs> no, I flat with my wife. <laughs> All right, who's the greatest living Prime Minister? Justin Trudeau. Oh, clever. <laughs> ah, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. You got me. Ah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Why should, people, Next question. why should people vote for the Green Party in election look, year? Look, if you want to be able to trust the water that comes out of your tap, uh, if you want to be able to trust that your family is going to be able to make ends meet, uh, if you want to be able to trust your government, you can trust us. Okay, very good. Uh, good, good on try. Uh, and, hey, round of applause for our new co-host, Charlotte Ryan. Yay. Thank good you so to, much for Good to have you on. How are you? I'm, I'm awesome. I've done the top five. Yep. I think we should go straight into it. This is the top five political moments of the week. US talk show host John Oliver's been mocking Nationals' fight with Eminem, or as he likes to say, we say... Eminem. Bill English responded with the savage burn. For the sake of his audience, I hope it's funny. Some of the stuff I've seen he does isn't very funny. <laughs> but what do they say about people living in Canton spaghetti on pizza glass houses throwing stones? Oh my God! I'm sorry. If our show is not to your liking, Bill English, Prime Minister of New Zealand, Although, to be honest, judging from your pizza choices, if I appeal to someone with your level of taste, I would be absolutely mortified. <laughs> Meanwhile, Conservative Lothario and Poet Laureate Colin Craig's back in court. Lucky for us, the only good thing to come out of this whole fiasco is Colin and the Craigs, putting his poetry to some soul music. Your eyes are so lovely Unbelievable in your new dress. <laughs> One politician without performance issues is Labour leader Andrew Little, who's employed Kiwi actor Ross Jolly to help him polish his image. Just give me a few tips on presentation style. I had terrible boils on my body. He's an absolute master of, of making, you know, getting the best out of performance, and so he's been good, been good for me. Working a treat, Andy. <laughs> Overseas, Trump's bestie Vladimir Putin tickled the ivories in China. Played hockey in Russia and even had time to weigh in on how well the Donald is carrying out his orders. Oh wait, sorry, on Donald Trump's completely independent decision to fire the FBI director. Well, no, he's acting in accordance with his competence. Speaking of Trump acting in accordance with his competence, over the weekend the President gave the commencement address at Liberty University. And like other members of his family, he drew inspiration for his speech from others. And most importantly, most importantly, have faith in yourself. Be true to yourself. We did it! I did it. Wow, is that real? Is that real? He did it, wow, far out, unbelievable. 